Good morning. Welcome to Wednesday morning, September 2nd. Um, today we're in Psalms 137 through 139 and then 1 Corinthians 13. And there's quite a contrast between uh, the texts here this, uh, this, this morning. Um, here's David. He's, uh, he's sitting down by the, the, the river of Babylon. Um, I mean, he's being tormented. And, and, and this was not a, a happy place for him. Um, and, uh, you know, it, it says in verse three, for there, the, for there, those who carried us away captive asked us, um, uh, asked of us a song and those who plundered us requested mirth saying, sing us one of the songs of Zion. How shall we sing the Lord's song in a foreign land? If I for, for, for forget you, O Jerusalem, let my right hand forget its skill. I do not remember you. Let my tongue cling to the roof of my mouth. If I do not exalt Jerusalem above, above my chief jo uh, joy. Remember, O Lord, against the sons of Edom, the day of Jerusalem, who said, ra ra raise it, raise it to, to, it very, uh, to its very foundation. Um, o daughter, o daughter of Babylon, who are who are to be destroyed? Happy the one who repays you as you have served. Um, it, it, that's kind of a tough, tough text to read, um, and, and, and really seeing David, you know, going through the torment that he was going through, but in the very next Psalms. He says, I will praise you with my whole heart. Before the gods, I will sing praise to you. And we, we wonder uh, what the gods he's talking about because um, David, obviously, his heart was after God. Um, and, and that's what God was looking for, somebody who was uh, after his own heart. And, and here we see gods in a, in a small g. And, and really, what he's doing is, is um, um, really... Uh, recognizing that uh, the culture at the time they were worshiping a lot of different gods a lot of pretenders and and um so he was going to step up and go over and above you know these these other so-called gods and it says i will worship toward your holy temple and praise your name for your love kindness and your truth for for you have magnified your word above above your name um and here, I mean, we're just seeing, you know, just um, really David reaching out to God, really acknowledging in who he is and, and what he's about. Um, and, you know, as we read scripture, he knows our coming in, our goings out. Um, you know, he knows every aspect of us. He knew, we, he knew us before we were even born. And, 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 and part of this, you know, we see exactly... Um, the love that God has for us, and really the love that David had for God, and in 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 going into our our New Testament lesson for the day from First Corinthians thirteen, um, this is a great text. Uh, this is kind of my go-to um, for for weddings. Uh, it's the love chapter. You know, uh, you know. It really lays out exactly how we're supposed to love and and how we're supposed to um, take care of one another and and how we're supposed to look at things. Um, love love suffers long and is kind. Love does not envy. It does does not parade itself around. It's not puffed up. It's not rude. It's not self seeking. Um, it, it thinks no evil does not rejoice in iniquity, but rejoices in the truth, bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, and endures all things. Love never fails, but whether there are prophecies, they will fail. Whether there are tongues, they will cease. Whether there is knowledge, it will vanish away. For we know in part, and we prophesy in part. But when that, that which is perfect has come, then that which is in part will be done away with. When I was a child, I spoke like a child, and I understood like a child, and I thought like a child. But when I became a man, 
I put childish things away. For now we see in a mirror, dimly, but then face to face. Now I know in part, but then I shall know just as I, I, I also am known. And now abide in faith, hope, love, and these things, these three things, but the greatest of these is love. Um, you know, I think about, um, you know, marriage. I think about family. I think about uh, community. And, 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 and one of the things that is lacking uh, in my mind is love in our, in our world today. Um, you know, I think, I think there's a lot of uh, liking going on. I think there's a lot of uh, tolerance going on. Uh, but just the, the, the true act of love, just loving a person for who they are and what they're about, um, not having strings attached. You know, agape love we see um, in Scripture a lot, and that's the kind of love that God has for us. That's the kind of love that we're supposed to have for one another. Unconditional, no strings attached. And I, I just think we'd have a better world. In, in, in matter of fact, I know we would have a better world if we could just love as Christ loved us. Um, so that's, that's my takeaway today. I want us to think about, you know, how are we loving? How are we loving our, 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 our family, maybe our spouse, our children, our, 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 our extended family, our community, our neighbors, our church, um, the people that are, are in our lives and who will be in our lives? Uh, do we show that love unconditionally for whoever comes across our path? So uh, think about that today. Um, you know, I know I don't want to be just a, a sounding symbol out there, a, a clanging symbol. Um, I want somebody to be able to, um, you know, look at me and and feel loved, know that they're loved, and and and. And, and with that is, is, you know, just being able to um, pour into one another. And, and, and again, ultim, ult, the ultimate part is being a witness, being given testimony, um, and sometimes with, with words if need be, but without words, that people can just see by my actions and by your actions uh, the love that we have for Christ and what he, he has for us and how we can pass that on other people. So... Uh, have a great Wednesday today. We have uh, fire, fireside chat tonight at seven, um, and I know I know we have a, a church meeting at five thirty, but seven o'clock. Plan on having the fire lit, and and um, hopefully be able to sit around and and, and talk with some of you folks, um, um, and and just um, you know just spending time together. So have a great day today. God bless you all, and I will see you. Thursday morning.